I stand before you as a representative of the American people to deliver a message of friendship and hope and love. You wrote this in 2011 about Saudi Arabia. It's the world's biggest funder of terrorism. Saudi Arabia funnels our petrodollars, our own very own money, to fund the terrorists that seek to destroy our people while the Saudis rely on us to protect them. The primary reason we're with Saudi Arabia is because we need the oil. Now we don't need the oil so much. We back it at tremendous expense. We get nothing for it, and they're making a billion dollars a day. Yesterday, we signed historic agreements with the kingdom that will invest almost $400 billion in our two countries. I mean, can you imagine we're defending Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia, if it weren't for us, they wouldn't be there. They wouldn't exist. Do we pay rent to Saudi Arabia to protect them? No, no, think of it. Think of it. Think of the stupidity. I have always heard about the splendor of your country and the kindness of your citizens. These are people that push gays off business, off buildings. These are people that kill women and treat women horribly, and yet you take their money. We will be sure to help our Saudi friends. Our goal is a coalition of nations who share the aim of stamping out extremism. We went after Iraq. They did not knock down the World Trade Center, okay? Who blew up the World Trade Center? It wasn't the Iraqis, it was Saudi. You have to take a look at Saudi Arabia, open the documents. Uh, you will find out who really knocked down the World Trade Center because they have papers in there that are very secret. You may find it's the Saudis, okay? Muslim majority countries must take the lead in combating radicalization. And I want to express our gratitude to King Solomon for his strong demonstration and his absolutely incredible and powerful leadership. You know, it's sort of nice to know who your friends are and perhaps who your enemies are. Terrorism has spread all across the world, but the path to peace begins right here on this ancient soil in this sacred land.